What is up film geeks and welcome to my channel. A little over a year ago in November of 2018 I started collecting Blu-rays and since it's the start of the new year I thought it's the perfect time to share with you my entire Blu-ray collection. I counted I have over 200 Blu-rays. I know it's not that much but in a year think about it. I bought 200 Blu-rays in about a year and a month. That's freaking crazy. So I'm sharing with you guys my entire Blu-ray collection. It's going to be a longer type of video. Let's make sure you got a snack, get a drink, and let's get on into the Blu-rays I have collected. Damn. First up, we got Thor Ragnarok, Taika Waititi's film in the MCU. I love Thor Ragnarok. I'm so excited for Thor Love and Thunder. Funniest movie inside the MCU, Korg. <laughs> hey, man. Black Panther, T'Challa. Ant-Man and the Wasp. Uh, I was trying to think of something to say, but I got nothing. Iron Man 3, one of my favorite MCU movies. Probably, you know, top 22. The Incredible Hulk. Let's put that guy back. Captain America, the first Avenger, still in its packaging. Bought it quite a while ago, but eh, least favorite Captain America movie. Still definitely enjoy it. Doctor Strange, bought it a while ago, but I do indeed love this guy. It's still in its packaging. Spider-Man Homecoming, one of my favorite Spider-Man films. Captain America Civil War, top three favorite MCU movie. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Oh my god, the best soundtrack in any movie ever, but also my favorite animated movie of all time. Iron Man, where it all began. Such a classic movie. Captain America the Winter Soldier. A different type of MCU movie, but a fantastic film nonetheless. Guardians of the Galaxy. Another fantastic soundtrack. And one of my top five favorite MCU movies. Next up is Aquaman, and I am a big fan of Aquaman. Now, lots of people aren't. I think it's a little bit long, but other than that, I think it's kind of cheesy and it's fun. I love Jason Momoa. Redheads, gotta love them. Damn rat. Man of Steel, my favorite Superman movie. I love Henry Cavill's Superman. He will forever be my Superman. Batman v Superman, I'm not gonna lie. I think this movie gets way too much hate. I love it. I really, really do. I find myself rewatching it often. Next up, Logan. And Logan is straight fire. I love everything about Logan. It is awesome. Then, Avengers Infinity War on 4K. Uh, I've seen this movie 30 something times. I love it so much. Oh my god. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny Rise, all the same. The Mummy Trilogy. That's all we got to say about that. Um, Maleficent. Pretty fire movie. Not as good as the second Maleficent. Not a big fan of either, but it's it's solid for to say the least. Interstellar, my favorite Nolan film. Behind another one. It. Hiya, Georgie. Sorry, that wasn't very good. A Time to Kill. I, I wouldn't say there is a time to kill. Hereditary. Fantastic horror movie from Ari Aster. Not a big fan of Midsommar, but definitely Hereditary. Scary. Criminal. A fantastic cast, but not a very good movie. Avengers Endgame. Steelbook action for you right there. We're getting into the steelbooks now. Avengers Endgame is absolutely fire. Sleeping Beauty. Just a cool steelbook. Not really a big fan of the movie. 101 Dalmatians. I love that color red. That is sexy. War for the Planet of the Apes, another sexy red, that is awesome. Dunkirk, another fantastic Christopher Nolan movie. Star is Born, Bradley Cooper's directorial debut, and it, it's so good, it's funny, it's dramatic, you know, rip your heart out. It, Chapter 2, what a nice boat. Do you want it back? Justice League, I really love that steelbook, I think it's gorgeous. I'm also a big fan of Justice League, a lot of people aren't, but hey, I dig it. I think the CGI is awful, though. God, it's terrible. Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. One of my favorite movies of all time. Tied for in third place tie for favorite movie of all time. Love it with everything inside of me. Dark Phoenix Steelbook. Um, I didn't think it's as bad as everyone was labeling it, but it's a fire steelbook. Baby Driver. Have never seen the full thing of Baby Driver. Definitely like the part to see it. Hiya, Joji. Then we got Eighth Grade. Haven't seen it, but my boy from Ryan from Nerdy Blurb TV loves it a lot. Remember the Titans. One of my favorite sports movies of all time. I will find you. And I will kill you. Eight film Harry Potter collection. Um, uh, you know what? Unpopular opinion. Not the biggest fan of Harry Potter. I like it, but I don't love it. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. David Fincher at its finest. Blood Diamond. Sorry, haven't seen it. Batman, the original. Seen it, but um, I haven't opened it. Split. I really do like Split. It's one of my favorite M. Night films. I haven't seen all those films. It's one of my favorite M. Night films. Jordan Peele's Us. If you want to get crazy... We can get crazy. Hey, hey, if you ain't matter how hard you can hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward, huh? That was my really bad Sylvester Stallone impression. I apologize to everyone's ears. The Predator. I, I like 
this movie back in 2018. It's still in his packaging, but you know what? It's stupid, but it's kind of fun to watch. Creed 2. He's talking shit about my pops. I can't let that slide. Really bad line from this guy right here. But other than that, I think it's a fantastic movie. Best um, training montage in any movie ever. All three Blade movies. I've seen the first Blade. Haven't seen the rest. But whenever um, Herschel Ali's Blade movie comes out, we'll definitely be ranking them. Skyscraper. Big fan of Dwayne Johnson. Big fan of his stupid action movies. Gold. A very underrated Matthew McConaughey film. I think he should be nominated for an Oscar for it. Law Abiding Citizen. Saw us in high school and I thought I might as well buy it because it was only five ninety nine. Oceans 8, I'm a big fan of Oceans 11 and Oceans 8, Oceans um, 9 or 12 and 13, they can suck it. Five film collection of The Conjuring, I'm a big fan of The Conjuring movies, except for The Nun, God, shoot me in the foot, it's bad. American Psycho, 4K, um, Christian Bale's best performance. The best Mission Impossible movie, one of my top 10 favorites of last year, Mission Impossible Fallout is freaking dope. Polar Express, I don't really like this one. Knock knock. If you guys have ever seen Chris Duckman's Holacrity reviews, they're hilarious. He should do one about this, unless he has already. But if he hasn't, he needs to do one about this because this is literally awful. I mean, I love Keanu, but God, it's bad. Next up, Home Alone and Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Hey, Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. 127 Hours, James Franco movie. I think it's pretty boring, but it's a pretty crazy tale. Then we got Toy Story 2. Oh, Jesse, she's so cute. Then we got Robin Hood. I think this movie got way too much hate, but definitely not a great movie, but definitely too much hate. Replicas, I bought it, and... <laughs> oh, Keanu, like, we love you, but God, you do some shit. Saving Private Ryan, I am watching this guy tonight because I am in a freaking war movie mood. It's in his packaging. Need to rewatch this guy. The Fugitive, saw it when I was a child. I have not seen it since. Star Wars, The Last Jedi, another movie I think gets way too much crap. I really like The Last Jedi. Independence Day 2 movie collection. Whenever I'm in a mood for a uh, stupid alien movie, I will watch it. I don't like You Got Served, but Stomp the Yard is one of my favorite guilty pleasure movies of all time. I've watched this movie probably 20 times in my life. I love it a lot. Then we got Spider-Man 2. Haven't watched it because I bought the entire Spider-Man collection, which we're coming to later. American History X. Haven't watched it by Edward Norton. Might as well watch it one day. David Fincher at his finest with Gone Girl. Fantastic. Then, oh my god. You're dumb. Oh, my God. It's so bad. Ugh. Ah! Hunter Killer. Need to watch this guy soon because, you know, a good explosion action movie is always good to watch. Um, missed one. American Made, one of my favorite Tom Cruise movies behind lots of others. Whiplash. My favorite Damien Shields is a Damien Chazelle movie behind La La Land, but this movie's so goddamn good. Oh, my God. It's not quite my tempo. J.K. Simmons, you're the man. Ten Things I Hate About You, my favorite romantic comedy of all time. Inception, my favorite Nolan movie. The Social Network, David Fincher at his finest. Cinderella, I really like Cinderella. Probably, you know, a top 14 favorite Disney Live Action remakes. There's only 14 Disney Live Action remakes. Reservoir Dogs in his packaging, need to watch it. Green Book, one of my favorite movies from 2018. Ghostbusters 1 and 2, recently bought it for the new Ghostbusters movie, so I can rank all those guys. Star Wars The Force Awakens, love it with all my heart. Nightmare Before Christmas, one of my favorite Christmas movies. It's a sing-along edition, so they play the words and the songs, and we get to sing along together. The Big Sick, a very underrated movie from 2018, I believe it came out. The Internship, one of my favorite um, comedy movies of all time. Vince Vaughn and Owen Wilson need to do more movies together. Wow. The Predator tra franchise, the three movies. Um, I like the original Predator and the third Predator. The second Predator can suck a bag of balls. I hate it. Juno, fantastic movie. High school drama, you know. Godzilla, King of the Monsters, one of my most disappointing movies of last year. Switch hands here. Into the Ashes, movie came out last year, not a big fan at all. Godzilla, Godzilla. I love Godzilla. It's actually one of my favorite of the MonsterVerse movies behind the one coming up. The Chucky franchise, um, yeah, not a big fan of the Chucky franchise. This is the end. Whenever I'm in a move for stupid comedy, I pop this guy on. The Terminator franchise, I've actually seen one Terminator, and that's the first Terminator, so need to rewatch those. Kong Skull Island, my favorite MonsterVerse movie. I love Kong Skull Island. I'm very excited for Kong vs. Godzilla whenever that does come out. The First Purge. Love the Purge movies, and this one's probably my least favorite of the Purge, but I do love the Purge movies. The Purge was awesome. And moo, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, my favorite like buddy cop. It's smart and sexy, and I think so too. A simple favorite, one of my favorite movies of 2018. Probably top 15 favorite movie of 2018. Rocket Man! Rocket Man is a fantastic performance by Taron Edgerton. Other than that, I think it's a kind of a different, weird movie. Then we got Lincoln Lawyer. My brother watched it recently, and he loved it. Matthew McConaughey, he kills it. Fast and Furious franchise is stupid. You know, action-packed franchise. 
Instant Family, a, oh, uh, it's such a sweet movie. It's so funny that honestly kind of rips your heart out. Zombieland, a really good movie for its time. Not a big fan of Zombieland 2. Anchorman, a fantastic movie that I will always love in my heart. The Meg, not a big fan of this one. So the Shining, I think it's overloved. I think it's a very good movie, but I do think it's overloved. Really cool slip cover though. Searching, a fantastic movie from 2018. Wedding Crashers, again, Owen Wilson and Vince Vaughn. Wow. Hacksaw Ridge, one of my favorite war movies of all time. Pulp Fiction, a fantastic Quentin Tarantino movie that is so awesome and really put Quentin Tarantino on the map. Booksmart, Olivia Wilde's directorial debut, I think is hilarious. Charlie Wilson's War, not a big fan of the movie, but I think it's one of Philip Seymour Hoffman's best performances. Yesterday, recently bought it, had not checked it out. Goodwill Hunting, one of my favorite Matt Damon movies, one of my favorite Rob Williams performances. It is brilliant in every sense of the word. Brother Bear 1 and 2. I love the first Brother Bear. Not a big fan of the second Brother Bear. Actually, had never seen it, so I can't say. Don't knock it till you try it, folks. Taxi Driver. Recently bought this guy because I've never seen it. It's the 40th anniversary edition. I bought it just because everyone relates Joker to it, so I need to find a night when I'm kind of in a bad mood to watch it, and I'll be happy. Hustlers, a fantastic movie from last year. I love it with all my heart. It's about strippers and how they make money when the strip club is no longer popping. It is a fantastic film. Everything about this movie is great. Smart, it's sexy, it's beautiful, and it's a really good movie. The Town, a fantastic movie by Ben Affleck. Directed, and he stars in it, and Jeremy Renner got nominated for an Oscar. It's got a really good cast, and it's a really good movie. Shazam! That's all I really want to say. That's a really good movie, though. The Wolf of Wall Street. I think Martin Scorsese killed it with this movie for the first hour and a half. Then I think it takes a left down Snoozeville. That's just me. Fight me on it. Bo Rap. I'm a big fan of Bo Rap. Horrible Bosses. Totally inappropriate. It's a stupid comedy. I love Kevin Spacey. I love all these guys. I think they're hilarious. Except for that guy. I don't know who that is. But those three at the bottom are just absolutely hilarious. Tangled. My girlfriend watches this movie so often. <laughs> Next up, The Dark Knight, a fantastic movie. I have them on DVD, the entire trilogy, The Dark Knight trilogy. But then I said, like, you know what? 4K, because uh, Black Friday, it was super cheap. Love The Dark Knight. Then we got The Dark Knight Rises. Oh, my God. Bane is so goddamn great. He's a, he's a beast. He's a beast. Um, I'm trying to quote a line, but I can't right now. 500 Days of Summer in its package. You need to watch that guy again. Kill Bill 1, haven't seen it. Widows, not a big fan, kind of boring. I did leave it in his packaging, but my girlfriend's mom rented it at uh, their house with some time back. Not a big fan of Widows, kind of boring. Kill Bill Volume 2, I bought all these so I can watch them. Have not seen that one either. The Equalizer 2, big fan of the Equalizer movies. Then we got Jingle All the Way, one of my girlfriend's favorite Christmas movies. Sherlock Holmes, I bought it because I love Robert Downey Jr. And eventually we'll get another Sherlock Holmes movie. Detroit. Catherine Bigelow's movie. I think she's awesome. And uh, this movie is my least favorite because Hurt Locker and Zero Dark Thirty are, in my opinion, are masterpieces. The Waterboy. H2O. Die Hard is definitely a Christmas movie. Just look at my Christmas packaging for it. That It's a Christmas movie. Get out of here. It markets it as it, so it is. New Year's Eve. One of those movies like a thousand great actors and then it all leads up at the end. It's a good, fun movie. Midsommar. I've never seen Florence Pugh suck, cry so much, but I don't really want to watch that again. Sherlock Holmes 2, because again, Sherlock Holmes 3 will eventually be made. Love Simon, one of my favorites in 2018. Loved every second of it. Detective Pikachu. Oh, God, it's awesome. I actually haven't finished it, but for the parts I've seen, I did like it a lot. Alita Battle Angel, a ginormous surprise for me. If you guys have not seen this, go check it out. My boy, AJ Reacts 2, favorite movie from last year, so it's a good one. And then we got Shaft. Recently bought it, have not watched it, but I love Samuel Jackson. SLJ, Fred Claus, my second favorite Christmas movie of all time. The Mission Impossible franchise bought it on Black Friday because it was cheap. Black Klansman, never seen this, but I'm on an Adam Driver hype, so I need to plug this bad boy in. Venom, I'm one of the weird ones who loves Venom. I'm a big, big fan. The Magnificent Seven, Black, uh, Black, 4K Ultra HD, fantastic movie, love every second of it. Hellboy, tried to watch it to turn it off within 30 minutes. How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. Love every second of this franchise. The Intruder, have not seen it. I heard it's just weird. I do like Dennis Quaid, though, so I need to plop the guy on. Oh, just... Oh, let's just put that guy back. Blade Runner 24-9. Sorry, Colby from Colby's Bowls Reviews. I have not seen this, but it's on 4K. I need to check it out. I buy so many movies, I can't watch them all, so I can get behind them. Sorry. Batman Begins. Now I own the entire trilogy on Blu-ray and 4K, so... If you guys can tell, my movies aren't really organized. Minions! Um, Illumination! Long shot, one of my favorite movies from last year in 2019. I watched this recently, and it's one I'm going to watch over and over and over again. It's hilarious. Love Actually, a fantastic Christmas um, romantic comedy. Bad Boys, Bad Boys!
Boys, Bad Boys is fire, and I'm really excited for the new Bad Boys. So I bought all these to watch them again. 20th anniversary, yo, that's crazy. Star Wars Rogue One. Let's see if I can get that out. There it is. Star Wars Rogue One. Um, eh, it's all right. Lone Survivor, one of my favorite war movies. It's kind of unrealistic in the way they tell it, but it is very action-packed. Star Wars Revenge of the Sith, my second favorite Star Wars movie of all time. The Farewell, need to buy it, and or I bought it. I need to watch it because I have not seen it yet, but heard Aquafina is fantastic. Pet Cemetery, um, and mediocre. Still not packaging in this one, but it's mediocre. Catching Fire, my favorite of the Hunger Games movies. Next up, Brightburn. Um, Brightburn, have not seen it, but I heard terrible things. Heard it's boring, didn't take a risk, so I might check it out, might not. Black Hawk Down, a fantastic action war movie. Need to rewatch it, haven't seen it in probably five to six years. Need to rewatch that bad boy. Crazy Rich Asians, one of my favorite from 2018. Love Crazy Rich Asians, top five favorite romantic comedy of all time. King Kong, Peter Jackson's King Kong is legendary. I mean, for 2005, these special effects are glorious. Overlord, a zombie type movie that I haven't seen, but I really want to watch it, so I might plug that guy on later. Speaking of, I guess mummies, not zombies. The Mummy. Hunchback of Notre Dame, kind of weird. Then we got Quantum of Solace, Spectre, Casino Royale, and Skyfall. Want to group those together. I'm going to be watching and re uh, ranking those pretty soon. Very hyped about it. Then we got Glass, a uh, big disappointment last year. Then we got World War Z. Then we got First Man. It's upside down and backwards. But First Man, I think it got a lot of hate. Definitely a boring Damien Chazelle movie. I want to see him go back to like, the jazz era type movies. But First Man was definitely a good step out of his comfort zone. I really did enjoy it. It made my top 10 2018 movies. But it is definitely a little bit slow. Dances with Wolves, my favorite western of all time. Elysium, a really trippy sci-fi movie that I think can happen to the world one day. Jaws, I talked crap about it before, but you know what? I rewatched it. I really do like Jaws. Alice in Wonderland is my first Blu-ray I ever owned when it first came out, and it was very expensive and best by a long time ago. 3D movie. Hercules, love Dwayne Johnson in stupid action movies. Moneyball, Brad Pitt's best performance to date. Zero Dark Thirty, oh god, it's such a fantastic movie. The last 30 minutes alone might be some of the best in television or movie in history. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, Spider-Man Collection, Men in Black Trilogy, A Few Good Men, my favorite law movie of all time, The Goonies, and the last row of the day, Alice in Wonderland. Really tripping and weird, and the guy who wrote this apparently was on acid, and I can tell. Rampage, again, I love Dwayne Johnson's stupid action movies, The Hateful Eight. Um, I need to rewatch. it's been a while since I've seen it, Toy Story... Uh, you got a friend in me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pacific Rim, dumb action movie. I'll dig it. Big starring Tom Hanks. Have not seen it. Sorry. The Hangover, one of my favorite comedies of all time. Get Out, Jordan Peele's best movie out of the two he has. The Hurt Locker, a fantastic movie. Oh, my God. This Means War, a stupid romantic comedy that's actually really entertaining. The Matrix. That's it. Wonder Woman, very excited for the second Wonder Woman. Can't wait to rewatch this guy, the A Team. Um, yeah, it's not that good. How to Train Your Dragon, fantastic movie in this franchise. I love every second of it. The Last Samurai, long time since I've seen it, but a three hour movie that's fantastic. Angel has fallen, top 15 favorite from 2019. I love every second. Oh, and Nick Nolte is fantastic. Dragged Across Concrete, a slow burn movie starring Mel Gibson and Vince Vaughn. Um, if you guys like slow burn detective movies, this is for you. If not, I would skip out on it. Fighting with My Family, one of my favorite movies of last year. A big, huge surprise for me. Florence Pugh, she kills it. Get Hard, say it like you mean it. I can get hard. American Hustle, one of the most disappointing movies of all time. The Favorite, Olivia Coleman's Oscar winning speech was the best in history. John Wick 1 and 2, I do have the third, but not with me here today. But John Wick 1 and 2 is awesome. The Papayaka, he's not the boogeyman. He's the man you send to kill the boogeyman. And last and might be least ralph breaks the internet um not a big fan of this sequel and that is my entire blu-ray collection at the moment i will do another one halfway through the year and another one in 2021 thank you guys so much for rocking with me let me know if you like this style of video and if you guys are still watching make sure to comment down below hashtag oranges apples grapes and peaches that's the big one you guys can abbreviate it if you want make sure to comment that down below thank you guys so much for watching do me a favor go see a movie i'll see you guys next time